Good evening, good girlfriends, good boyfriends, and everybody in between. And to all my friends, my new friends, my old friends, and all that is going on. Okay, it's Saturday evening. I had to get my popcorn because it's been like, well, it's not been like, but it is just drama, drama, drama. Okay, so let's talk about what I want to talk about is, and I really don't want to talk about it. I want to get some advice and I want to talk to Todrick Hall, okay? Now, if anybody knows Todrick, anybody is a fan, now, let me put it like this. If you don't know who Todrick Hall is, he started out on Star Search. He's from Marlton, Texas. He's a Texas boy, so whoop, whoop, all right? And uh, uh, he's become a major celebrity. He's a fast-rising superstar. He makes great party records, okay? Example, House Party 1, great album. House Party 2, eh. Uh, Drop, oh my God, that is the jam, okay? Uh, them beats, baby, no, they don't make them beats like they used to, you know? He, I say he, he's, he could be the successor to take over for RuPaul here in America for RuPaul's Drag Race. If RuPaul decided to just step down and be just the executive producer and make sure all these endeavors he has going on run and run smoothly, okay? But at this moment in time, Tadra gets fucking up the game. Let's just put it like that. I, you know what? I'm 47 years old. I'm not about to sit here and kiki and uh, giggle and say and say not and say this and say no, no, no. I'm a, You know, according to what I know. And now what I know, what I read, and what I've seen online may not be all factual. But in the meantime, and in between time, what's there is there, okay? One thing I know is this, in my years, and I've been a card-carrying member of this LGBT community before we started adding the ABCs, 123s, LYTs, PYTs. I want to love you. Okay, anyway, no time for Michael Jackson songs. But anyway, I've been a member as long as you, you can get. Back when we were having to go to clubs only one night a week because that was the only night we could get into the best club in town because there was really nothing else for us and all that. So that's a whole nother video. But to see somebody like Todrick Hall come up the way he has and to and wreck it as fast as he's is this happening? This is crazy. You would think his name was Todrick Trump Hall. Okay? You I let me let me put it like this. Todrick, if you're listening, baby, if somebody wants to forward this to him, you're fucking up your game. You're fucking up your money. Okay? You have all these opportunities, okay? And this makes no sense. And, and like I said, some people, yeah, there, there is between his truth, their truth, there lies some lies, right? Okay? But I don't think all of this is lies, okay? Because when you got somebody working for you, yes, even though this little, this little Italian boy was his, um, his personal assistant, yes, he was trying... He used Todrick as much as Todrick was using everybody else. I mean, he really was just trying to be there to get his star going, to get his fame going also. That's the business. Everybody hooks on to somebody else so they can get their come up, okay? But baby, I'm going to tell a lot of you this. You, Some of you might know, some of you might not know. But when them girls on the street, them girls that are working these clubs... That are doing the doing the shows at the club, um, and working the beat on the street, and getting their hustle on in every way possible. When they start talking, when them chicks start talking, seven out of ten times, it ain't a lie. Because when they start talking and they start telling the tea, that's because you done pissed off them or pissed off one of their sisters. And they gonna tell, and they gonna tell it deep. Okay, they gonna pour and pour and pour until they fill up. It becomes the Boston Tea Party. That's how it's gonna be. Okay. 
Now, I always wonder why I never seen none of the drag girls, you know, really in his videos or, you know, him hanging on them and all that stuff. That's because they don't want to fuck with him like that. Now, you when you mess over one or two of them, okay, they going to tell each other, don't fuck with him. Do not mess with him. Stay away from him. He don't pay. Now, these dancers that are going around here talking about how, you know, you didn't pay them. I understand that too, but you need to be paying these people. And if you ain't paying them and there's supposed to be somebody, somebody on your staff that's supposed to be paying them, then you need to get with them. And, and I'm going to, and this is going to sound bad, but whoever you got, you need to fire them, get you some Schusters and Schusters, some Scheinbergs, some uh, 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 Goldbergs, Goldsteins. You need somebody who's going to get your money together. And who ain't gonna let you? Who ain't gonna let nobody cheat you out of your money? Cause they gonna want they money. And if you ain't giving them they money, they gonna make sure the whole production and plant is shut down till they get they money. Okay. The Goldbergs, the Scheinbergs, the uh, Hollisteins, the uh, uh, the Streisands, all them people of the world, they not about to let you get 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 over there. Okay. I understand when you kick it, when you with your people and you're around your good, good, you think you're around your good, good Judy's and your good, good girlfriends, you think you have the right to say something about somebody else. Now, see, and if it's true that you talk shit about Taylor Swift, you need to be ashamed of yourself. Maybe you wasn't talking bad and you didn't think you were talking bad. I don't know, because I started to watch the video where you were talking, where they say you were talking mess about Taylor Swift in front of Tamar Braxton. And Tamar Braxton wasn't going to comment because she knew better. She ain't about to get in that mess. That ain't got nothing to do with her. She going to sit back and let you run your mouth and dig your own hole because she probably looking at you like, honey, that's a whole different kind of ball game. And she on a whole different level, okay? Because some people going to let you dig yourself into a hole. You know, if you were talking shit about Taylor Swift, then you need to be ashamed of yourself. Because that girl, she ain't using you. I don't see the reason why she would have to use it. And maybe she is kind of using, maybe she did trying to hook on to you, you know, to get her street, her gay street cred. Everybody gonna use somebody, you know, because they think we're all fabulous and wonderful. And, and if they trying to get over and trying to change their image, and I don't blame them, okay? I don't blame Taylor at all. Because she's trying to get out of that good girl, I wear penny skirts. I like to flirt with boys and boys like me. Now she want to get a, she want to be over here with us. Come on, you need to calm down. You need to have a couple of seats. You know, you need to stop throwing shade because she, I couldn't believe she used the word shade, child. Anyway, Todrick, baby, don't you burning your bridges? Don't burn your bridges. And if you already have, you need you need to live your pope, baby. You do. You need to live your pope. You need, a, you need somebody to help you get this shit together. And call Annalise Keaton. She'll kill a couple of people for you and bury the bodies. Now, you need to pay Manila Lazon if you owe her. Okay? If she ain't got her dollars from last year, you need to go ahead and give it to her. That girl worked too hard not to be paid. All right. Now, the sexual harassment stuff... Ooh, baby, this that's not good. Now you you know the world is already think we're a bunch of goddamn self, sick, sick, nasty, degenerate, sexual degenerates. Why would you want to do what you're doing if you're doing that? Everybody know what a dick look like. You ain't gotta pull yours out, and if you got other people on staff sexually harassing, you need to make them stop. That's your money. That's your coin. That's your name. You becoming a brand. You can't become a brand with a with a, with a dookie saying behind it. You ain't Kiss. You ain't Vince Neil. You ain't Motley Crue. You can't afford to be trying to have that kind of reputation. 
You know, you are a gay black male in the music business. You need to get like Billy Porter. That's who you need to get like. You ain't hear nothing about Billy Porter being on no sexual harassment bull. See, but the problem is because you're young and you're making fast money and you're making good money. And baby, I'm going to tell you right now, fast money ain't always good money. And you know what they keep saying about you? The people that you meet on your way up, you're going to meet them coming down. You need to get even killed, baby. Or start acting crazy like Kanye or something. Or you need to come up out of this spotlight for a while. No need to be trying to address this on TV or interviews or nothing. Maybe you need to just settle some debts. Get you a good team behind you that you, you know, that you're going to start paying and let them go out there and be your Todrick cheerleaders. Because you got fans all over the place. You do. Women love you. People love you. Why would you want to tarnish your image this soon, this fast? And like I said, this sexual harassment stuff from a gay man? And you young, you know bitches talk. You know they talk. You know they talk, Todrick. And, uh, and, and you know, but see, that is the pitfalls of being young and in Hollywood and the way we got the business is now, there is nobody to handle it. Ain't nobody going to stop the people from telling on you. The, the way the business is now, everybody free to do what they want. You want to put out two or three new singles in 24 hours? You can do it. Ain't nobody going to stop you. You want to make a whole album, work the videos? If you got the money, go ahead and do it. You know, if you want to sexually harass somebody, oh, you're going to go ahead and do it. But trust me, if they're not happy with it and you don't pay them off, they're going to tell on you. Sure. You know, they say you don't like black boys. I don't, I don't date my own race either. Okay. I like my I like my Caucasian persuasions, as Janet would say. My Asian delights. And my Latino lovers. But I'm not going. My personal business is my love life is my love life. But if I can got if I got a whole set of brothers that's about to get down and make it happen and make my shit be the shit. I don't care how chocolate it is behind me. You can call that whole video Hershey, 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 Hershey. We about to do the motherfucking goddamn thing because when it come to us, this color, not this color, we get down, okay? You would want the best. I know you trying to appeal and cross over and cross over fast, but... Don't cross over so fast that you can't get back to the side because once that side fuck with you and, and forget about you because you know this business is the way this business is now. These children only got to buy a good 10, 15 minute uh, uh, attention span. Okay? So, I'm telling you, Tartrick, and baby, and any of you out there that's, you know, trying to get like him, or even if you in this situation and you got, you and you know, I might not know who you are. You know, maybe some of you, you're YouTube stars. You need to stop fucking up your game. Stop thinking you're going to get away with it. Because if you see if, if Trump ain't getting away with shit, your dumb ass definitely not. And you ain't got Trump money. You ain't got Mariah Carey money. You ain't even got dead Michael Jackson money. And trust me, and Michael Jackson did a whole boatload of stuff. He dead and gone for years now, and he's still getting away with stuff. Elvis been dead for years, still getting away with stuff. I'm just saying, watch what you do. Remember, you are a, a, a role model to some people. You're an inspiration to a lot of people. But if you can't handle it, get the hell out of the business and, and let somebody else get that spotlight, all right? And you tell your mama, I said, hey, child because i'm sure she's praying for you 